Okay, this is a little bit of God Save the Queen. Uh, nice and easy one, this one. Um, it's in the Abracadabra book, amongst other places. You'll find it in all sorts of books, but they do find it in Abracadabra, especially Abracadabra Brass. I think it's number 17 there. I'll play it through, then I'll talk it through. So it goes like this. It's in three in a bar. Let me get my metronome up and running. Can't do anything without a metronome, as my pupils will tell you. I'm obsessed with it. Mm -mm. Sounds good enough to me. Okay, after three, this is a bit of the old God Save the Queen, starting on bottom C. One, two, three, one, two, three. fast sorry about that should have been a bit slower never mind um okay just talking it through them there are a couple of things here um it's quite low which is good the highest note you play is an a <coughs> right towards the end da, 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 da. a is like e same fingers as e but it's uh it's the next harmonic up here's e here's a so the things you've got to worry about with the getting up to the top a first of all all of this. Top notes come from downstairs. They come from here. Abdominal muscles tight for those top notes. Oh, give yourself a stitch. Oh, tire yourself out, which means that the air is going to be nice and powerful when it comes out. Now, the, the job of the lips here is not to move, not to get blown out, not to get pushed out by the air. It's to hold firm. Oh, there it is. And the vibration's got to get nice and small. So the two things you're thinking about, one, there's like a a, a solid wall of muscle here <laughs> think of a balloon that <laughs> is always pushing secondly the, vib the, the lips have got to stay nice and tight and not get pushed out away out of the way by the air and the, the vibration has got to be nice and small make the hole in the lips <laughs> as small as you can like you're blowing down one of those Capri Sun straws that's how to get those top notes they do require energy that's what you're going to need to to, um, to have so that's your top A Da, 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 da. Second thing to worry about is the tonguing. I bang on about tonguing all the time to my students. Da, 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 da. It's like you're speaking the notes. So we don't want to hear. So I'm not using the tongue. I'm stopping and starting the air, like turning the taps off and on. But with the tongue, very much like having the water going through the hose pipe and just putting the thumb over the end. The water is not stopping. The, the pressure is still there. You're still blowing, but the, the thumb is the thing that, that, you know, the thumb is like the tongue. Do, da, 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 da. The pressure is still there. Um, you do have, um, uh, after the first three notes, da, 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 da. These rhythms here, um, I like to call sausage rolls because it sounds sausage roll. I don't have many word rhythm remembering mnemonic things, but that's the one I do go on about because a lot of students go, I, I don't know, it's the Duddy Crotchet, which is a beat and a half, and then you're in after the half beat with a quaver. And what? Sausage roll. It's a sausage roll. That's what I call it, and I refer to sausage rolls a lot. So you've got bum, bum, bum. I would get students to practice that rhythm. There's your sausage roll. Play it on a D. Play it for me now. Play it on an E. On an F. Then on a G. Now, once you've done that a few times, feel free to pause the video and just practice that a few times. Now we're going to do the same rhythm, but in, we're going to move notes. So we're going to start on that G. G, F, E. Same rhythm. Sausage roll. But come on, the G, down to the F, down to the E. Start on the F, F, E, and D, so we're coming down. We might as well carry that on, E, D, and C. Start on the D, C, down to bottom B, below C. Great, and then you can do it up as well. Um, 
um, just to get the practice in for those sausage rolls. Um, so at the beginning of that, give me a sausage roll. Another sausage roll. If you've got the music in front of you, I say to students a lot that music is all about recognising patterns. If you can recognise that dotted crotchet followed by a quaver on its own, followed by another note, it doesn't matter whether it's long or short, it just matters where it starts, um, it's always a sausage roll. Ba da da or da da da. It's always a sausage roll. So if you recognise that pattern, bing, sausage roll, there it is. Um, the only other the rhythms that you've got in here are, we've well got just a load of crotchets, but you do have quavers. Quavers, as you know, uh, move twice as fast as crotchets, so you can fit two quavers in the space of one crotchet. If I slow this beat down, in fact, why don't I just use my metronome? There we go. So this is crotchets. One, two, three, one. So quavers are going to be on that beat and one in between, twice as fast. It's going to go one and two and three and da, 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 one and two and three crotchets. Quavers. You can hear there was one note on the beat with the metronome and then one in between. So it's twice as fast. Um, then you, you can practice those quavers with a metronome. Get a metronome. If you've not got a metronome, get one. Um, they are well, on, on many app stores and marketplaces for most devices. They are free. There's, there's paid ones. I've got one called Tempo. T-E-M-P-O. T-E-M-P-O. And... Um, it's really good. There's a free version. I've got the paid version, which is even better. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons I love it, but I'll, I'll get into that another point. Um, but always get a metronome because it means that you're not playing whenever you want to play. You're playing to the beat. And music is all about that. Without a beat, it's just a collection of notes. So you've got your quavers. Da, 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 da. I might practice going up the scale. <laughs> something like that and then maybe change the metronome a little bit faster see if we can keep up with the beat um okay i think that's pretty much it so i'm going to play it one more time you know if you've got the music follow along maybe with your finger just follow along with what i'm playing um listen for tonguing da 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 listen for the sausage rolls da 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 listen for the quavers listen for that high note all those things we've been thinking about so god save the queen here it is in three in a bar one two And if you've not got the music for that, you can probably work it out. It's it's C, D, E, F, G with an occasional bottom B underneath the C. And that's it. So this one you don't need to have the sheet music for. Um, challenge. Work it out for yourself. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.